On today's video, we are having a museum putty showdown. Now this will be over a few days because to do this museum putty showdown, I feel like we need to give it a few days on some of the product. I have always, this is the museum putty that I've always used. It's just sticky putty. It is white. If you used it on certain things, you might could see it because it is white. This is, I've got lamps that have been stuck down since 2017 with this stuff and they haven't gone anywhere. See, this lamp has the sticky putty on it. Oop, I'm going to take the desk out. I don't know that I could. It's on there really good. I know I can get it up, but I don't want to. On some surfaces, it could mess up by leaving a ring because I pulled this lamp up when we did something in here. Oh, I sealed this table and I pulled that up and it left like a little ring on it because the table was not sealed. A lot, a lot of people, I see this clear museum gel and so many people, this is what they recommend and I never have tried this. So I thought for this video, we would try the sticky putty versus the museum gel. But I wanted to throw another competitor in here. I wanted the nano tape because the nano tape is clear so if you have something you want to stick down with it and it needs to not be seen the white stuff, this is what I've always used. So I kind of use it like museum putty. So in this video, we are having a show. <laughs> Today in this video, we are having a showdown between these three. We're going to see which one holds the best. So what I've done, I have these three. I went and got three mason jars and I wanted it to be fair. I wanted to stick all three items down to the same thing. And then I just got a raw piece of wood. I feel like a raw piece of wood would be really good. So first we have the sticky putty, which is museum putty. This stuff, it like Play-Doh. <laughs> it sticks real good to cardboard. It's like Play-Doh. It comes in like little strips and you just Peel a section off, <laughs> you kind of flatten it out, make a wad, put it on the bottom of your item, and we stick it down. And it instantly, it's, it's on there. Like I said, this is probably, this is the stuff I've used since we got our camper and it has always worked great and it is on there. And it really cures, if you gives it 24 hours, it's, it's really hard to get off. So next we have this museum gel and it's a, a really like a, a gel, obviously. Um, I have played with this and it's kind of funny. Bill had some baskets that I was trying to stick down in his cough room and it never cured, but it's crazy. Cause see how I've done that. Now I'll show you what it looks like in a few days. It will just completely level itself back out. Now this does say that you need to give 24 hours for it to set up. And I gave it 24 hours the other day and it never did. Well, yeah, that held on really good. So maybe it was just on that piece of metal that was in Bill's thing. It wasn't, oh yeah, no, yeah, see, it like pops off. So see, like this one, <laughs> I can't get it off. That one, that one. But it, but it says, says give it 24 hours. So we're gonna stick it on there and we're gonna give it 24 hours. And then the last one, we're gonna take this nano tape, gonna cut a square and we're gonna stick it on the bottom of this. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna break stuff. <laughs> now I was shocked that the, the nano tape one came off. It's really not, I just realized it's not thick enough. So that's the only thing about the nano tape is the putty you can make it like this has like a concave bottom. The putty you can make it thicker. The nano tape, it is the thickness that it is. So I think we're gonna need two pieces for this to make it where it'll go up in the wall hole. Yeah, that's it. Now it's good. Okay. 
So we have all three of them on there. They're all stuck. The nano tape and the clear museum putty, I can pull them off. The sticky putty, that one is on there really good. All right, well, I'm gonna let these sit for 24 hours. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna talk more about museum putty. All right, it has been 24 hours since I put the museum putty, the sticky putty, and the nano tape on these. So I've let it set. That way we give them an all fair shape. But I wanted to bring you a word from one of our sponsors, which is me. I have started designing some RV adventure shirts. And also, if you want a shirt with our Bill and Kelly's Adventures, it's on there too. But I have a website. I will put a link in the description box below that you can go there and check out all the shirts that I have designed. This is one of my designs that I've did. And I have like all, a lot of my designs are gonna be RV, adventure, that kind of designs. Now I do have other designs on there. This is another one, because I do have friends that are realtors. This is like one of my realtor shirts. I have some other shirts. I have like all these different designs that I've done. I am been having such a fun time designing these. If you're interested in purchasing one of these shirts, you can go to the link in the description box that takes you over to my website that you can purchase the shirt. I'm going to give away a free shirt. When this video gets a hundred likes, then we're going to give away a shirt. All you have to do to be entered is you do have to like the video and then just comment below something that you want to tell me, or maybe if you want to go check out the website and let me know what shirt you might like, you can do that as well. And then when we get to a hundred likes on this video, we are going to be giving away a shirt. If you just want to go over there and purchase a shirt and support our channel, I'm giving all my YouTube family 15% off and the code will be family15. You use that at checkout and you get an extra 15% off at checkout. Oh, I already see a problem here. Look, the, the clear sticky putty. I don't know if you can see that or not. It has oozed down my board. It's oozed away. It's like, I don't know. Now I can peel it off of there. It, it came right off of there, but it, it, it did ooze. This is my sticky putty. <laughs> and it is, it is on there. Now this is the, the clear museum gel. Oh, whoa, I'm gonna screw off my lid. It's, 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 it's definitely on there now. It for sure. Oh, I did get it to pop off. That was on there if I hadn't have like pulled it. I, I think that it was on there enough. And you can see it just peels right up. It comes right off. Let me see if, let me see if I can get this one off. Oh, okay, <laughs> finally got that one off. Well, it did. It came off pretty good. So that came off. Now let's do this one. <laughs> oh, whew. that came off and it stayed on the jar. I feel like cleanup is like an important thing as well. You want to be able to get it off the item. Okay, this is like really wanting to be stuck to this item. Nano tape is it stuck pretty good <laughs> to the item. It's not cleaning up off of it real good. It is, it wants to be on here. And I, I could sit there and mess with it and probably get it off. Now, if you look, I don't know if you can tell or not, where the sticky putty was, there is no residue. You can't see where it was. And even on the nano tape on this board, you cannot see where it was at. But the clear gel, I don't know if you can see or not, It there's a ring where it was at. It kind of made like a little ring on there. I have to say that I am probably going to stay with my sticky putty, even though it is not clear. If I have an item that I need something to clear on, 
I might use this museum, but I'm probably going to stay with my nano tape. I didn't like how this oozed over the sides. Let me know in the comments which putty you prefer to stick your items down with. Till next time, like and subscribe.